Hello co-visualizers, how's our rendering going? In this video, I will share you my workflow in making 3D visual renderings for interior and exteriors. So let's start. For trace plant preparation, the first thing that I prepare is gathering the AutoCAD drawings from plants, elevations, sections, and other detailed drawings. And I make a clean copy of AutoCAD and make it as a trace plan to be imported into Max. Next is start tracing the plants in line with the elevations and do the block model. When the block model of the project is done, I leave it for a while to prepare for texturing. For interior textures, I gather all the images of the fabric, finishes that I will be using for the furniture and on the room. For exterior ex uh, textures, I gather also building finishes and its site development, like textures for roads, walls, ground. One important pointer in making texture make sure that the textures you're making are seamless it will give also realism to your scene when textures are well done for the textures i'll just make sure the size is 600 pixels minimum so that your textures will look better when you rendered and also not to save it too high because high resolution textures takes also more time to render for interiors this is the time where i gather all the reference needed in modeling furnitures and accessories needed in the room. For dimensions, finishes from the manufacturer's online catalog. What I'm doing is to create a separate folder for furniture models together with the textures. For best free 3D furniture models resources, check the 3dsky.org. And if you have a custom curtain that needs to be remodeled, Check the Marvelous Designer software. For exteriors, I'm using a lot of plugins that can help you model elements of your scene. Plugins like Batsal Roof Designer for easy modeling of different design of roof. For nice models of grass, check the iGrass collections. For scattering of grass and other entourage, you can use the multi scatter plugin. I trees are also good source of 3D trees. I flowers, Forest Pack Pro also has a wide range of collection of trees, grass and bushes. For fountains and falls, creation in 3D, check the Glue 3D plugin. In preparation for the scene, I'm gathering first the trees, shrubs, cars, 3D people and other architectural elements I needed for the scene if I'm working for exteriors. In this way, I can easily merge one by one into 3D Max all the entourage. When I set it all into the scene, I convert it into proxy and sometimes, if too much elements in the scene, I'll separately save all of the objects into XREP or external reference. Check on my tutorial for proxy and XREP. This is the best part of making 3D, the rendering part. For exteriors, I usually use HDRI for lighting. And for interiors, it's a combination of V-Ray lights and environment light of the lighting outside. I use V-Ray in 3DS for rendering engine. My usual render image is 2400 by 1800. And when doing the animation, I use Lumion. Since V-Ray 5 has its feature of having a post-production while rendering, it cuts a lot of time doing post-production in Photoshop. I use a lot of curve correction for contrast, color balance, and saturation. For my timetable, from preparation up to post-production, at least 7 working days I need to finish. This is from my side, maybe some of you are more faster than this, but in my case, this is usually the time I need. Thanks again guys for spending your time to watch this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, Jelmisa. Keep safe always. Okay, doc.